possible. Oh, so you're my replacements. A dandy and a clown. Who the hell do you think you are? The doctor. I am the doctor. Who you are, I cannot begin to imagine. Good luck. Stand by. Ready. Commencing calculation. Send me there. Cross the boundaries that divide one universe. This is why we called you in. 3D again. Hmm. Interesting. The broken glass? No. Where is broken from? Look at the shatter pattern. The glass in all these paintings has been broken from the inside. As you can see, all the paintings are landscapes. No figures of any kind. So? They used to be. Something's got out of the paintings. Lots of some things. Dangerous. This whole place has been searched. There's nothing here that shouldn't be, and nothing's got out. Oh, no, not now. Doctor, what is it? No, not now. I'm busy. Is it to do with the paintings? No, no, this is different. I remember this. Almost remember. Oh, of course. This is where I come in. Geronimo! Doctor! Wait! Who is this man? That's just what I was wondering. A very skinny. That is proper skinny. I've never seen it from the outside. It's like a special effect. Boy, ha, matchstick man. You're not. Compensating? For what? Regeneration, it's a lottery. Oh. He's cool. Isn't he cool? I'm the doctor and I'm all cool. Oops, I'm wearing sand shoes. What are you doing here? I'm busy. Oh, busy. I see. Is that what we're calling it, eh? Hey. Hello, ladies. Don't start. Listen, what you get up to in the privacy of your own regeneration is your business. One of them is a Zygon. Oh, I'm not judging you. Oh, oh lovely. Yeah. Your Majesties. Probably a good time to run. But what, what about, about the creature? creature? Elizabeth, whichever one of you is the real one, turn and run in the opposite direction to the other one. Of course, my, my love. love. Stay alive, my love. I am not done with you yet. Mm. 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 <gasps> Thanks, lovely. I understand. Live for me, my darling. We shall be together again. Mm. Mm. <sighs> well, wouldn't that be nice? One of those was a Zygon. Yeah. Big red rubbery thing covered in suckers. Yeah. Venom sacks in the tongue. Yeah, I'm getting the point, thank you. Nice. Doctor, is that you? Ah, hello, Clara. Can you hear me? Yeah, it's me. We can hear you. Where are you? Where are we? England, 1562. Who are you talking to? Myself. Can you come back through? Physical passage may not be possible in both directions. It... Ah, hang on. Pheasant coming! So where did it go? Who's he talking to? He said, himself. Yes. Yeti, Cybermen, we've seen some times, Doctor. And Omega. Don't forget Omega. As if I could. And the terrible Zodin. Ooh. Oh, you weren't concerned with her, were you? No, she happened in the future. We're covered in her. Mm -hmm. I used to hop like kangaroos. Well, I must say goodbye, Brigadier. I really shouldn't be here at all. I'm not exactly breaking the laws of time, but I am bending them a little. You never did bother much about rules, as I remember. What's the matter? What is it? Brigadier, I think our past is catching up on us. 
Or maybe it's our future. Come on, run! It stops right too old for this sort of thing. Where's he gone? We must get back to the TARDIS before it's too late. Run! It's all fading. What's fading? Great chunks of my past. Detaching themselves like melting icebergs. Ha! Ah! Do something, help him! Oh, no. No, don't look so worried. I'll have it all worked out soon. Everything's all right. Everything's quite all right. gonna do he seems to be under some kind of psychic attack I am being diminished whittled away piece by piece a man is the sum of his memories you know a time Lord even more so what can we do to help you get me into the TARDIS where you're going. Oh, I'll never say nothing. Anyway, good to know my future is in safe hands. Keep a tight hold on it, Clara. Mm. On it. <laughs> Trends are law. We need a new destination because... I don't want to go. He always says that. Need a moment alone with your painting? How did you know? Those big sad eyes. Now. Oh, by the way, there was an old man looking for you. I think it was the curator. I could be a curator. I'd be great at curating. I'd be the great curator. <laughs> I could retire and do that. I could retire and be the curator of this place. Oh. You know, I really think you might. I never forget a face. I know you don't. And in years to come, you might find yourself revisiting a few, but just the old favorites, eh? You were curious about this painting, I think. I acquired it in remarkable circumstances. Eh? What do you make of the title? Well, which title this too? 
No more. Or Gallifrey falls. Oh, you see, that's where everybody's wrong. It's all one title. Gallifrey falls no more. Now, what would you think that means, eh? The Gallifrey didn't fall. It worked. It's still out there. I'm only a humble curator. I'm sure I wouldn't doubt. Then where is it? Where is it indeed? Yes. Lost. Shh. Perhaps things do get lost, you know. Now you must excuse me. Oh, you have a lot to do. Do I? Mm. Is that what I'm supposed to do now? Go looking for Gallifrey? Well, it's entirely up to you. Your choice. Eh? I can only tell you what I would do. If I were you... Oh, if I were you... <laughs> oh, perhaps I was you, of course. <laughs> oh, perhaps you are me. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> or perhaps it doesn't matter either way. Who knows? Who knows? I can't go through with it. I... I will fight it. I will not change. Hello? Someone there? Hello? Who is that? I'm the doctor. Oh, I don't think so. No. <laughs> Dear me, no. You may be a doctor, but I am the Doctor. The original, you might say. You? How can it be you? Do I know you, sir? This is the South Pole. We're at the South Pole. Of course we are. Don't you know that? This is where it happened. Where what happened? This is it. The very first time that I, well, you, we, regenerated. You're mid-regeneration, aren't you? Your face, it's all over the place. But you're trying to hold it back. What do you know of regeneration? Are you a Time Lord? You know who I am. You must. <laughs> Have you come to take the ship back? The ship? You still call it a ship. Oh, dear. What have you done to it? That's it. The windows. I don't remember That's this. Long side. I don't remember the trying color. not to change. Sure it's not back then. I mean, look at it. It seems to have expanded. Well, it's all those years are bigger on the inside. You try sucking your tummy in that long. Why are you trying not to regenerate? I have the courage and the right to live and die as myself. Too late. It started. A few minutes ago, you were weak as a kid, right? Now, you're fine. We're in a state of grace, both of us. But it won't last long. We have a choice. Either we change and go on, or we die as we are. But if you... If you die here... If your future never happens, if you don't do the things that you are supposed to do, the consequences could be... Snow. Snow? Look at it! How extraordinary.
glass. It's all come back to me. This. What is this? That's my ship. What? Let me take it from the top. Hello. I'm the doctor. I'm a traveler in space and time. And that thing buried down there is called a TARDIS. Time and relative dimension in space. You're gonna love this. Come on, old girl. Too sleepy. Power up! Need you right now. No, I can't. Not right now. No time. Just stand there and don't ask questions. Sorry you got caught up in all this, but if Gat is half the operative she used to be, she's already figured out where we are, and we need to be ready, and we're not. Stop. Who's Gat? And who are you, really? Truly? I told you, love. I'm the doctor. You can't be. Yeah, why's that? Because I'm the doctor. You have got to be kidding me. Really? Yes, really. Since when? Since forever. And how did I end up like that? All rainbows and trousers that don't reach. What? No. How did I end up like you? You don't. You're in my future, not the other way around. I've never been anything like you. Trust me, I'd remember, especially that shirt. So would I if I'd ever been you, which I haven't. What? Possible. Unless it is. But what would that mean? Does it make sense? Stop doing that! Oh. Same brain. Another one. Are you sure the message is from him? Oh, yes. Why would he do that? What's the mad fool talking about now? Hello. Hello. Gallifrey High Command. This is the Doctor speaking. Hello. Also the Doctor. Can you hear me? Also the Doctor. Standing ready. Dear God, three of them. All my worst nightmares at once. General, we have a plan. We should point out at this moment it is a fairly terrible plan. It almost certainly won't work. I was happy with fairly terrible. Sorry, just thinking out loud. We're flying our three TARDISes into your lower atmosphere. We're positioned at equidistant intervals around the globe. Equidistant, so grown up. Just about ready to do it. Ready to do what? We're going to freeze Gallifrey. I'm sorry, what? Using our TARDISes, we're going to freeze Gallifrey in a single moment in time. You know, like those stasis cubes? A single moment in time held in a parallel pocket universe. Except we're going to do it to a whole planet. And all the people on it. What? Even if that were possible, which it isn't, why would you do such a thing? Because the alternative is burning. And I've seen that. And I never want to see it again. We'd be lost in another universe. Frozen in a single moment. We'd have nothing. You would have hope. And right now, that is exactly what you don't have. It's delusional. The calculations alone would take hundreds of years. Oh, hundreds and hundreds, but don't worry. I started a very long time ago. <laughs> Warning the War Council of Gallifrey. This is the Doctor. You might say, I've been doing this all my lives. Good luck. Stand by. Ready. Commencing calculation. Send me there. Across the boundaries that divide one universe from another. Got a lock on his coordinates. And for my next trick, I didn't know when I was well off. All 12 of them. No, sir. Ah! All 13! <laughs> Sir, ah! the Daleks know that something is happening. They're increasing their firepower. Do it, Doctor. Just do it. Do it. Okay. Gentlemen, we're ready. Sake, Gareth. 
fray stand! <laughs> memories of you erased. Did they force me back into becoming a child? How many more of me are out there? I don't have those answers. But say I did. Would they even help? Of course they would. All this? It means I'm not who I thought I was. Because your memories aren't compatible with what you've learned today? Yes. Have you ever been limited by who you were before? Uh, now that does sound like me talking. I'm so tired. The Matrix... It's sapping all the energy out of me. No time to be tired. Still work to do out there. Lives at stake. Armies being born. People need the Doctor. I don't know how to stop the Master. Of course you do. That one question that's nagging at you. The one thing he said that you didn't understand. The one thing who said? The master? No. Get out of here. I know this place has blown your mind. Maybe you should return the compliment. No, wait. Are you still there? Of course you're still there. If you were me, you're buried within me. Buried within him. Too many thoughts. All right, first things first. What did she say? Mind blown. Yes, of course. All this history, all these lies, it's too much stimulus. It might work. Denied its reality. I can do it again. Maybe. We know what they say, Doctor. Nothing ventured, nothing blown. Oh, I'm talking to myself again. It's a good sign. Thanks, Doctor. Still here. No, shut up. I need to concentrate. Oh. Right. Have a blast of this, Matrix. My dear fellow, what kept you? What kept me? Of all the confounded arrogance. Never mind, never mind. You can tell me later. Come and take a look at this. What is it? Tegan. Sarah. Hmm. Fascinating. 
What's happened to the little fellow? The little fellow is perfectly all right, thank you very much. <clears throat> of course I'm here. You don't imagine anything you two can do would stump me, do you? Let's have a look. What's this? Brigadier. Good heavens. <laughs> it's Miss Smith, isn't it? Miss Trevanka. Don't ask me how we got here. It was like a cross between Guy Fawkes and Halloween. Lethbridge Stewart. Oh, my dear fellow. How very nice to see you again. Great heavens, you as well. <laughs> well. I can't exactly say it's nice to be here. Do you know I was enjoying... Must, excuse me, old chap. We have a very important inscription to translate, and I think they'll get it all wrong without me. Typical. Absolutely typical. Oh, I know, I know. Drag you through time and space without so much as a buy your leave, then leave you out when things get interesting. My version isn't any better. Well, which one's yours? So, that's what it's all about. I never dreamed. It changes nothing. Absolutely nothing. We lure the force field, get the young fellow back from Gallifrey, and all go home. This doesn't concern us. It mustn't. What does the inscription say? Yes, I'd quite like to know as well. Yes, we've all been through a great deal to get here. You? Tell them. It's Old High Gallifreya, the ancient language of the Time Lords. Not many people understand it these yes, days. Fortunately, I do. It's all very interesting, I'm sure, doctors, but what does it say? That this is the tomb of Rassilon? where Rassilon lies in eternal sleep. It also says that anyone who's got this far has passed a number of dangers and shown great courage and determination. <clears throat> what does this bit mean? To lose is to win, and he who wins shall lose. I know what it says. What does it mean? It also promises that whoever takes the ring from Rassilon's hand and puts it on shall get the reward he seeks. What reward? Immortality. But live forever, never die. That is what the word means, young man. But that's impossible. Apparently not. It seems Rassilon possesses it now and is willing to share it with whoever takes the ring. Thank you, gentlemen. That is exactly what I needed to know. I came here to help you. A little unwillingly, but I came. My services were scorned, my help refused. Now I shall help myself to immortality. Out of the question! You're hardly a suitable candidate. For anything. <laughs> the decision is scarcely yours. Killing you once was never enough for me, Doctor. How... how gratifying to do it three times over! Nice to see you again! <laughs> Here's what's going to happen. First, I'm going to escape. You, with me. Where are we going? Escape is not possible. It is possible, and it is happening. And I'm taking Bill and the captain with me. Why are you advertising your intentions? Can't you stop boasting for a moment? Mr. Pastry, too, I could do with a laugh. Escape is not possible. Oh, I'm going to do way more than escape. I'm going to find out who you are and what you are doing. And if I don't like it, I will come back and I will stop you. I will stop all of you. Who the hell do you think you are? The doctor. I am the doctor. Who you are, I cannot begin to imagine. Then let us show you, doctor. See who you will become. No, no, that's, that, that's not a good idea. They all die. The Doctor has walked in blood through all of time and space. The Doctor has many names. The Inn of the Pandorica. I am the upcoming storm. The Shadow of the Barnyard. The Beast of Trenzeron. The Butcher of Skull Moon. The Last Tree of Barsenoff. The Destroyer of Scarrow. He is the Doctor of War. What was that? To be fair, they cut out all the jokes. Do what I do when I do it.
Though, didn't you? Yes, and felt it too. Could it be that stuff outside? No, I don't think so. I don't... Hello, what's this? Oh, it's... It seems strangely familiar. Is it yours, Joe? Flute? No. Well, properly speaking, it's a recorder. Thank you. <gasps> I was wondering where that had got to. You haven't been trying to play this, have you? Oh. I can see you've been doing the TARDIS up a bit. Hmm. I don't like it. Oh, my word. <coughs> oh, dear. We are in trouble, aren't we? Just as when I turned up. Doctor, Doctor what? where did you spring from? Now, don't tell me. Corporal Benton, isn't it? Sergeant Benton, now. How do you do, my dear? Nice to see you. I haven't seen you since that nasty business with the Cybermen. All those years ago. Christian, how did he get in here? Well, it's a bit difficult to explain, Joe. He's not one of them, is he? Well, not so much one of them as one of us. One of me, to be precise. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, my dear. I hate to be contrary, but I can see he's a little bit confused. Poor old chap, and I do feel you should have the correct explanation. You don't mind, do you? Yes. I didn't think you would. You see, Joe... I may call you Joe Maintime. You see, he is one of me. Oh, I see. You're both Time Lords. Well, quite. Well, not quite. Oh. Not, not just Time Lords. We're the same Time Lord. Now, please, you're only confusing my assistant. Joe, it's all quite simple. I am he, and he is me. And we are all together, Goo Goo mm -hmm. What? It's a song by the Beatles. Oh, how does it go? Oh, please be quiet. Look, is he really you? Yes, yes, I'm afraid so. So I think he is, Miss Grant. You see, when the Brig and I first met the Doctor, he looked like him. How? Yeah, that's what I'd like to know. You've got no right to be here. Perhaps. What about the first law of time? Perhaps I could explain. Perhaps you could. Well, our fellow Time Lords out there are just as much under siege as we are. What? And they couldn't send anyone to help you. But they did summon up enough temporal energy to lift me out of my bit of our time stream and pop me down here, into my own future, so to speak. Why? My dear fellow, you are being a bit dim, aren't you? Your effectiveness is now doubled. Halved, more like. Now, now, there's no need to be ungracious. Suppose we have a look uh, at our problem, shall we? Uh, you don't mind, do you? Oh, be my guest. Oh, thank you. Now, Rusty, you know that I'm dying. And if you don't want me to go off and die somewhere else where you can't watch, you're going to have to stop shooting at me. I agree to your terms. Well, I'm going to need some proof. You know what? You're the very first Dalek that ever got naked for me. You're the first one, yeah? Like the original version of the Doctor. My dear, you should get back to the ship. This place isn't safe. You're the one who stole the TARDIS and ran away. The Captain might be needing you. No, the Captain's fine. Why did you do it? Oh, I'm sure your doctor has explained. Not even sure he remembers. There were many pressing reasons. I don't mean what you ran away from. What were you running to? That's rather a good question. Questions are kind of my thing. How are you with answers? Been a long time. Remember the good old days? Well, I got miniaturized and I climbed around inside. You taught me to hate the Daleks. 
billions of years ago. What you been up to since then? Destroying Daleks. Yes, all the ones who come here to murder you. Yes, I saw the mess outside. Why are you here? As a Dalek, you are linked into the Dalek hive mind. All Daleks are. Biggest database I know. I'd like to access it. Why would I help you? Because helping me in any way does something wonderful. It hurts the Daleks. There is good and there is evil. I left Gallifrey to answer a question of my own. By any analysis, evil should always win. Good is not a practical survival strategy. It requires loyalty, self-sacrifice, and uh, love. Uh, so why does good prevail? What keeps the balance between good and evil in this appalling universe? Is there some kind of logic? Some mysterious force? Perhaps there's just a bloke. A, a bloke? Yeah. Perhaps there's just some bloke wandering around, putting everything right when it goes wrong. Well, that would be a nice story, wouldn't it? That would be the best. But the real world is not a fairy tale. You dash around the universe trying to figure out what's holding it all together, and you really, really don't know. You know me in the future. Do I ever understand? No. I really don't think you do. Everyone who's ever met you does. You're amazing, Doctor. Never forget that. Never, ever. Well. Very kind of you. We just needed to understand you, Doctor. I don't suppose we'll ever know if we actually succeeded. But at worst, we failed doing the right thing, as opposed to succeeding in doing the wrong. Life and soul, you are. What is it actually called? Well, there's some debate. Either no more, or Gallifrey Falls. Not very encouraging. How did it get here? No idea. There's all something we don't know, isn't there? One should certainly hope so. Well, gentlemen, it has been an honor. And a privilege. Likewise, Doctor. And if I grow to be half the man that you are, Clara Oswald, I shall be happy indeed. That's right, aim high. <laughs> I won't remember this, will I? The time streams are out of sync. You can't retain it. No. So I won't remember that I tried to save Gallifrey rather than burn it. I have to live with that. But for now, for this moment, I am the doctor again. Thank you. Which one is mine? Thin. I hope the ears are a bit less conspicuous this time. I adjusted the time frame only by a couple of hours. Any other day it wouldn't make any difference, but this is Christmas 1914. And a human miracle. 
is about to happen. The Christmas Armistice. a doctor of war. You were right, you know. The universe generally fails to be a fairy tale. But that's where we come in. I'm ready now, but I should like to know how are you? You'll find out. The long way round. Whatever you decide. Good luck, Doctor. Goodbye, Doctor. Marshal Steik, commander of the Ninth Sontaran Battle Group. Long way from the war, aren't you, Steik? Going badly, is it? On the contrary. And thanks to the information you've just given me, I shall be back in time for the crucial battle. My money is still on the Rutans. Into the machine. Time, Lord. Why? Oh, of course. You don't really expect me to give the Sontarans the power of unlimited time travel, do you? Oh, do it, or your comrade dies. Get in!
Satisfied? So, the machine is now primed. Yes. Excellent. I shall now execute your comrade. Wait! Now, that's why you Santarans have no allies. You can't be trusted. We have no need of allies. Santaran might is invincible. A Time Lord! Impossible. How could the Time Lords have traced us? It's the truth. I did not do this to myself. The Doctor's companion at the space station had a knife like that. Doctor! Jamie! There you are, Jamie. Come a long way for you. Naturally. Don't expect any thanks. I think someone's coming. Uh, Too late! Uh, Upstairs. Extemporize. Uh, 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 Wake up, old time lord. Supper will soon be served. <laughs> uh, the chief to transfer himself. Splendid. But I don't think it's going to work. Why, what's wrong? They refuse to cooperate. I see. Well, we'll soon settle that. Show me the earliest, Doctor. But him too. It's not a trolley. Show me. He'll keep them in order. Well, you've been fiddling with it, haven't you? It was perfectly all right until you touched it. Now, if only you'd leave things to me. If we were to leave things to you, my dear fellow, we'd be in a fine pickle, wouldn't we? Well, Look, again. you lost the image, not I me. I did not lose the image. I it said it. You thing. saw it. Look, look. both of you. Look. Look. Ah, there you are. I seem to be stuck up here. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, so we are my replacements. <laughs> a dandy and a clown. Have you done anything? Well, we've uh, assessed the situation. Just as I thought. <laughs> Nothing. Well, it's not easy, you know. Not as if we knew what that stuff is. No. Then I'll tell you. It's a time bridge. Is it what? I see. Now, what's a bridge for, eh? Well, uh, a crossing. Right. So stop dilly dallying and crush it. Uh, wait! You, you, uh, you faded him again. I did not yes, fade him. You, you saw him. He faded him. I have to ask, but who was that? Me. 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 Call, will you? Heads. Hard luck. All right. Stand by to disconnect the force field. So what are you going to do? Now. Doctor, no! Clara sometimes asks me if I dream. Of course I dream, I tell her. Everybody dreams. But what do you dream about, she'll ask. Same thing everybody dreams about, I tell her. I dream about where I'm going. She always laughs at that. But you're not going anywhere, you're just wandering about. That's not true. Not anymore. I have a new destination. My journey is the same as yours, the same as anyone's. It's taken me so many years, so many lifetimes, but at last I know where I'm going. Where I've always been going. Home. The long way round. Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.